superstar. So you um, starting to see what I mean about queer history, that this goes back you know, several generations. Um, and then, then Sally Dixon, who was a really important person in the experimental uh, film world, she ran the uh, film section of the Carnegie Museum at the time in Pittsburgh. And the third person was Stephen Coates, who wrote a really important book about, about Warhol. So there's all this intertwining. And so, and Roger made the film Aged in Wood. And I don't know what you... Oh, okay, the three titles. So, if you don't know all about Eve... What? Uh, what? What? Yeah. what? <laughs> you know, leave immediately. Um, you know, get on Netflix. Um, no, we really should project it, because it's actually beautifully shot as well. Um, but, uh, so, Aged in Wood is the play in which Margot Channing is starring during, during the film. Margot Channing being Betty Davis. Remembrance, uh, which Jerry's film um, refers to, is the play in which Eve allegedly saw Margot play in San Francisco at the Schubert Theater. <laughs> A lie easy to expose. Um, <laughs> um, and um, Footsteps on the Ceiling is the play um, for which Eve wins the Sarah Simmons Award. Um, so, well, you, you can say a few words about Remembrance, but I just want to say something about Footsteps on the Ceiling, that ever since Jerry made Remembrance in 1990, I've been saying that I was going to make Footsteps on the Ceiling. And I you know, finally did it 23 years later. So that, this is 39 years in the making. Um, this uh, trip that So there we are. Take a mic In ancient times, before there was Adobe Premiere, or uh, what's the other one? The back oh, that one. Um, uh, if you wanted to mo modify an image in film, you had to use an optical printer, which uh, moves at the rate of one frame at a time. And uh, I had found this uh, reel of All About Eve um, <clears throat> in 60 millimeter. And uh, optically reprinted this material that you'll see and I put the soundtrack on it. And it, it took like six months to do this optical printing. Uh, it was a real pain. Uh, but it was worth it. <laughs> um, and just um, to speak to that, Footsteps on the Ceiling is um, an attempt to use video image processing to try to do the sort of things that I've been doing in self-processing. Oh, I guess we should talk about self-processing. Uh, um, Roger Jacoby was, you know, like the great master of, of film processing, and uh, aged in wood would not have been possible to make without if he, if he didn't process the film himself, because it just would have been completely black without being pushed and strained, and, and so that you see the green. So my question, my, my question about that is. What did he actually shoot? What 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 is the, what brings out the grain? Is it did he shoot anything, or did he just process un, unshot film? To, you know, oh. what what creates the grain? Oh no no no! It's completely shot. It's 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 it's. it's, it's, it's I'm sure I'm not sure. I don't think it's edited at all. So he just shot the 11 minutes from the back during during the the, the, the screening. It's a two-hour film. On um, yes. On an Oricon, which is the same kind of camera that uh, Warhol used for his sound films, and then he um, he processed it himself, so that it, but to me, it's in a way, way what he did. Okay, it's black and white film, so you can uh, you can use really hot temperatures, really cold temperatures, and and the 
to um, to push the film, to make you know, to bring any image whatsoever out of out of that darkness. You really have to push it. So it's done at high temperature and over long periods of time. And so that's what, that is what brings out the green, which is just what you're seeing basically is the silver, the silver iodide in the film. So aside from everything that the film, my film says in it, which is obvious, um, Undine told me that if one studies all about Eve, one will find in that script a line for every single situation that you will ever encounter in life. <laughs> <laughs> All About Eve has brought me to where I stand today. <laughs> so we're going to show the festival trailer, uh, then there's another short, Amelie Hoare, and then the trilogy that we just we talked about. Um, and I'll be projecting the 16. Um, it's all green, it's really hard to focus, so, you know, just keep looking. <laughs> Thanks a lot.